back, everyone, for some more of my Nottingham Forest career mode for FIFA 22. And we are going to be participating in the preseason tournament, the European International Cup. Which you can see some of the deals right there, uh, players that I've done. But, like I said in the last video, we have been grouped with Venezia from Italy, Lorient from France, and Salernitana from Italy. And we are going to do the entire preseason tournament in this video. But I just want to show you guys that I still have 41 million in the transfer budget, which means I just spent barely over 100 million on new transfers. Which not only did I I uh, make my starting eleven stronger, but I also made my uh, bench a little bit stronger too. But um, without further ado, here is a look at the team that hopefully will avoid relegation from the Premier League. As you, like I said in the last video, Brennan Johnson is a, is a survivor on this team. Uh, Tommy Waters, our youth academy prospect, um, he'll be training to be a right winger, so he should be going up to 76 hopefully soon. I signed Ben Brereton Diaz from Blackburn. He has a potential of up to 82. He had a fantastic season with Blackburn. He's got several caps for Chile. He just recently... Uh, pledged his allegiance to the Chilean national team, and I'm excited to see what this guy can do. Another player I'm excited to bring in, too, is George Mihailovic, which I, I have him training to be a cam. He will be my starting cam. He is, at the time of recording this, the leading goal scorer in the MLS, so I'm interested to see what he's going to do. I decided to get Sean Longstaff and bring him from Newcastle. He really didn't feature all that much in my Newcastle United career mode, although his brother Matty did, but I want to give Sean Longstaff a chance to enjoy the limelight a little bit with this team. He is only 73 rated, but hopefully he'll start growing. Now, I got Bazoa here. Uh, Richard Lee Bazoa, I think his name is. I got him from Vitesse. And even though he is a center back, he is higher rated as a center mid. So I do have him trying to be center mid. Although it's going to take like 20-some weeks for him to do it. But um, he should get to that mark hopefully soon but with uh, better form. And I decided to bring Jamal LaSalle's back. From uh, back to Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest was his original club before Newcastle United signed him along with Carl Darlow. But um, he actually grew pretty good as a bench player in my Newcastle United career mode. And hopefully now that he's a crucial player, he'll be growing like a weed for me. To the left of him is Alex Anteas. I got him from uh, newly promoted Almeria. I did sign this guy in my Hamburg career mode in uh, FIFA 21. And I'm curious to see if he can carry on that good form into FIFA 22. Dan Axel Zagadu, uh, tied for my highest rated player on this team. I signed him in my Bielefeld career mode. I did get him to, I believe, an 83 or 84 rating. So this guy can grow as well. I'm excited about that. This guy I've never even heard of before I started looking at transfers. And his name is Junior Sambia. I got him from Montpellier from Ligue 1. And he is 73 rated. I believe he has a potential of up to 80 or 81. So I'm very excited to see what he's about. We got Carlos Acevedo. I forget whether I signed him for my Dorados career mode or my Leones Negros career mode. I did sign him for one of those. I believe it's my Leones Negros career mode. He grew to almost an 80. And I do have him as my starting goalkeeper. Bryce Samber has been relegated to the bench. I decided to keep Richie Laria since I terminated the loan of Jed Spence. Uh, Joe Worrell, I decided to put him on the bench as well. I... He's definitely a player I don't plan on getting rid of. James Garner is a guy that I got on a permanent loan, uh, a permanent deal. Uh, he was out on loan, but I got him on a permanent deal, and I decided to put Ojeda out on loan. So he'll, hopefully he'll grow for me. Mighton is my backup winger. He has the potential of up to 81 or 82. I definitely want to make sure that he stays on the bench. Zinconago, I got him on a permanent deal, is with uh, Keenan Davis, so both of them are going to be on my team permanently. And I should let you guys know that pretty much every single player that I got that wasn't already on this team on loan, I got on the last year of the contract, with the exception of, of Jamal LaSalle's. But yes, yeah, Santeas I got for 10, Longstaff I got for a million plus Yates. And I'm just going to go ahead and go scroll down. 
Chris Zinconago and Keaton Davis, I went ahead and made their deals permanent. But yeah, pr pretty much everybody else I got on the last year of the contract, except for Jamal Lasell, so... And I do, I do have a lot of players transfer listed and loan listed too, but as you can see, I am going to show you guys... We have 41 players on this team, which is a lot of players, and I just want to make sure I trim because I would make, I want to make sure I trim this uh, squad size down because I do want to send youth scouts out and bring some youth academy players in. But um, and take a look at the squad together for the first time. We do aim to impress in the preseason tournament. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. You can see Jam Jamal Lascelles is the captain of this team. Weird thing about Lascelles is he he still has his real face in the PlayStation version, but when I updated the Switch version, uh, he no longer has a real face. I don't know what the story with that is, but... Anyway, I am going to try out this team for the first time here against Lorient. This will be at the San Siro on the clear skies. Take a look at the kits here real quick. Now, the away kits, I don't necessarily mind. I'm not sure about the paint, but I don't really mind those. But these uniforms right here, and I'm just going to be, I'm glad I'm recording this right now because right now I'm saying these are among the ugliest kits I've ever seen in my life. But who knows, I may end up warming up to this and probably at the end of the series, if that happens, I'm sure you guys will say, well, Teddy, remember back in episode 2 when you said you hated these kits? But, yeah, I'm not real fond of the uh, alternate kits whatsoever, but I'm going to keep the home kits on them. You can see Lorient's kits. I'll just go ahead and stick the, with the alternate kits. So without further ado, let's see what this team is like. I can't wait to try out this team. Yeah, this should be very exciting. I just realized I forgot to put I forgot to make a second team. I'll probably do that off camera at the end of the uh, episode. You can see George Mihailovic. Like I said earlier, he is at the time of recording. The leading goal scorer in the MLS. Hopefully that translates to success here with um, Nottingham Forest. You can see Tommy Waters, our Youth Academy graduate. Hopefully he will have a debut to remember. And take a look at the San Siro. Holy heck. I'll definitely try. As we are underway here at the home of AC Milan and Inter Milan. Bertendia. Oh. Sambia passing the waters. Who will score the first goal for Nottingham Forest? Well, oh! That's not a good cross. Not a good start for Waters. Burton Diaz, can you get your first goal for me? Yes, you can. Not real happy about that cross by Tommy Waters, but this is his first game, so I am going to uh, give him a little bit of a break. He is only, I believe, 16 or 17 as well. You see Mihailovic passing it to Waters. Yeah, that's I, I do need to work on his crossing, especially since if he's going to be my winger. Okay, Lascelles gets ahead on that. Zagadu passes to Zambia. Yeah, he's he's crossing it straight to the goalkeeper. Yeah, he's he's definitely he's definitely a work in progress. Dang. Wonder if a Johnson is gonna. I wonder if Johnson will do any better. What's he doing on this side? Okay, he got the cross in, but nobody was there. That actually wasn't too bad of a cross. 
Okay, Mihalovic. He gets on the score sheet. You can see he's uh, celebrating with fellow goal scorer Brereton Diaz. Okay, Johnson, how's your... Okay, his crossing is much better. Though there was nobody really there to really get in hold of that, but Brennan Johnson gets his first goal for the club. Good cross by Johnson, but nobody was there to collect it. I am going to go ahead and sim... Or jump to the result, rather. They do get to go back through the era. We did not make any substitutions. We'll probably get a, a notification saying, uh, make sure you use substitu substitutions, but. We are getting a transfer offer for Whirl, which is a, definitely a guy I am not interested in selling. Same with Samba. Both these transfer offers are going to get blocked. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and sim this game against Salernitano, which hopefully it will lead to another um, win. Steve Cook, 30 years of age, 72 rated, uh, from Bournemouth. I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. And loan to buy from Monterey. I am not... I'm going to go ahead and just go with a straight loan. Hopefully he and Monterey can agree to that. But we are going to sim this game against Salernitana. Yeah, don't forget to use substitutes. Cone. I'll go ahead and accept that. Let's see if either one of those go through. Probably a PSV one will go through because it's usually the one that offers the less, the least, is the one I go with. But anyway, I am going to sim uh, against Salernitana. Okay, let's take a look at their kits here real quick. Eh. Okay, I guess. I, I, I like the badge, though. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this. Watch, we'll lose this. I didn't get to catch where this was being played at. No, we do win. Uh, Mihailovic and Brereton Diaz score. The two goal scorers in the last game. Zinconago came on for Bazaar. And Whirl came on for Lascelles. Lascelles and Brereton T Diaz get yellow cards. And we're going to go ahead and sim this game. There's no way that we're not going to get out of this group. So we're going to go ahead and sim the game against Venezia as well. We're going to delegate with a loan. So we're loan to buy. Uh, Bournemouth got middle stat. That's an interesting signing. Replacement for Lascelles as captain will be unavailable for selection against Venezia. I wanted to propose appointing Bryce Samba. Oh, shoot. Okay. I didn't realize he was... Yeah, I'm not putting Samba as captain. I'm putting... Why is it saying he's unavailable for this game? He's... What? Okay, I don't know what that message was about, but... Anyway, we are going to sim this game against Venezia. I don't know, he looks pretty available to me. Okay, let's look at, take a look at Venezia's kits, which... I'm sad to see this team getting relegated because they have the most unique uniforms and I love their badges. They'll probably be on next year's FIFA as the rest of the world team. But anyway, we are going to sim this at Town Park. 
I don't know why Busio is playing deeper in. He should be further up, but... Mihalovic, Santeas, and Beretan Diaz score. Okay, we get another 1.2 million. Kanate loan agreement. Ojeda, I am not... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... We're just gonna go ahead and straight out accept that. Kanate has agreed a loan deal, which I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And... Union de Santa Fe, I'm just going to go ahead and straight up reject that. I do not plan on transferring him. I only plan... Oh, he must have rejected the loan for Monterey. That kind of sucks. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this team a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and try out Mighton. Zinkanago can go in there. Davis, let's give him a game. I think I'm going to sub off Longstaff. Put in Whirl. Go in for Sambia. And Samba can take the place of Acevedo. And I am going to be playing this game against Union Berlin. Okay, what kind of transfer? What kind of transfer did Fulham make? I ain't got to see that. Okay, it looks. What was that? I didn't. I want to see what that Fulham transfer was because they are a team that we, hopefully we can um, fight off relegation against. Okay, that got Kuyate. That's actually a pretty decent signing. But yeah, I was just curious. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what my fellow relegation battlers do in the uh, um, transfer market. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put my away kits on this time. You see Union Berlin, I'm going to go ahead and put their home kits on them. Though I, I love those away kits. I like the green trim with the white. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put those uniforms on. I am not playing in the ring. I just noticed that I am not playing in the ring. There's no way. I wouldn't mind playing in the rain so much if the game just would cut out trying to put me out in the rain. I'll play under overcast skies, but not under rain. But without further ado, let's just see what my second team does against uh, Union Berlin. You can see James Garner getting his first piece of action here with Nottingham Forest since he's become a, a permanent mem a member of the squad. It'll be a second game at the San Siro. Okay, let's see how, what Mighton does. Because Tommy Waters, to be honest with you, did not have that great of a thing. Okay, it looks like my right wingers are giving me issues. I don't know why. Because they're crossing it straight to the goalkeeper. Bazaar. Mighton, can you get a goal? Dreadful finish, but he is 67 rated. Okay, let's try this again. 
Okay, nice. That is a much better cross as Brennan Johnson gets on the end of that. Movald with the steal. Nice work by Might in getting that ball back. Another cross! Oh, Davis, what are you doing? You just wasted a perfectly good cross. Yeah, he just wasted a perfectly good, good cross by freaking Might. Okay, Johnson. Once again, going to get the end of that. One thing I'm noticing on so far, which is a habit that I can't stand in this game, is whenever I put in a cross in a good position, my players go full mental like they've never played a game of football in their lives. Oh, come on. You got to do better than that, Mighton. Nice! Good! Okay, Zika Noggle? I am so glad I decided to keep this guy permanently because I kind of adored this guy. He was kind of like a hidden gem in my Watford career mode. I think he got up to like a 78 or 79, despite him only have potential of up to 75. So, like Jamal LaSalle's, this guy can grow in, uh, in career mode. Okay, my, you, you are letting Movard look like freaking uh, Prime Marcelo. Okay, Davis makes up for his blunder earlier in the game. Sign him in on permanent deal from Aston Villa. He has a potential of up to 76. We are going to jump to the result here. And we do get the clean sheet. Longstaff came on for Bazoar. Worrell and Garner got yellow cards. Hopefully they're not suspended for the final, which will be against Udinese. Transfer offer for uh, former Newcastle player Jack Holback, a player that I do not rate whatsoever. I'm just going to go ahead and accept that. He is in the last year of his contract. Hopefully he'll go to the city that never sleeps. Okay, let's fix this team again. Johnson has already gone up to 73. That's awesome. So he's the first player that's grown on the, on this team. I just have a, a funny feeling that this career mode might be potentially something special. Okay, let's look at rules here real quick. Why does Bazoa have... Oh, I'll go ahead and keep that. Penalties goes to Brereton Diaz. Right corner does not go to Longstaff. It goes to Waters. Yeah, I'm going to have to make my second team off camera. But, um... Anyway, we are going to go ahead and sim forward here. Mihailovic position ch uh, change. Figueredo, Chancer Talks, and Cook, uh, Cook has been sold. And Mihailovic is higher rated as a cam. 
which he goes from a 75 to a 76. He's on okay form, but we're going to go ahead and train him for the attacking midfielder role. Other players should be ready, too, I think. Yeah, Garner is ready to be a, a CDM. He goes from a... Se I don't think he's going to change, yeah. I was going to say, he is not going to go... But I am going to have him as box to box. I do want to increase his pace and stamina. Okay, Waters is ready to go. He is going to go from a 74 rated midfielder to a 74. I thought he was going to grow by two, but he only grew by one. But that's okay. He's at the same overall as uh, Barrett and Diaz now. We're going to go ahead and train him there. Okay, that's pretty much it for development. Bazaar, I'm not expecting I'm not expecting him to be a full-fledged center mid so probably around Christmas. Kanate has been loaned out, Panzo loan deal to buy. I'm going to delegate for a one-year loan deal. I'm hoping I get through some of these players. Okay, position change, cool back chance to offer in. That's apparently he has something against New York City. I know you will be eventually looking for a replacement. I'm gonna say it'll take some hard work. I'm not gonna say either one of those. Because he's not part of my plans. Transfer offer for grabbing. Exactly for his value. I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer from Elche. We have that two year loan, loan deal for a newly promoted buyer to lead. I'm going to go ahead and just straight out accept that. Okay, position change. He is not going to grow in overall. It's just going to be just going from a right back, right wing back to a right back. There goes that. You see Barrington Diaz, Mihailovic, and Johnson, each with three goals. As we are going to put our strongest starting 11 here, like before. Longstaff has already grown to 74. Santayas has grown to 75. Sambia has... Each of my players have grown. Zagadu's up to 78. Sambia has gone to 74. Mihailovic is up to 76. As we are going to go ahead and play this game at the San Siro. Take a look at Udinese's kits. They've always had nice kits. They, they, I mean, they're kind of similar to Newcastle kits. So right away that gets a bit of a soft spot for me. But anyway, we are going to be playing under clear skies at the San Siro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and... See if we can win a preseason tournament. You see Ben Burton Diaz is our featured player here. Hopefully he'll get to the 76 by the end of this game. Hopefully. And I'm hoping Tommy Waters has a better game too. Which I think he will gradually get better now that he is a full-fledged right winger, but... His crossing is, leaves a lot to be desired, if I'm being honest. As we are underway here, our third straight game at the San Siro. Okay, Brereton Diaz. Oh, oh, oh! What? Okay, oh my god, what kind of goal was that? I gotta see that again. I thought he was offside. 
I gotta see this again. Yes, we know that it went in. I want a replay. Are we not going to get a replay? Apparently not. Okay. Cool. You know, we'll do this instead. Okay, well... Okay, let's go ahead and look at this again. Okay, it is on side. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and actually resume the match. I just think that's kind of amusing. I, maybe it's just me. But anyway, Tommy Waters. He's got good pace, but like I said, his crossing is not... And I say that, and that is a perfect ball to Brennan Johnson. So it looks like my big three that right now are going to be Brereton Diaz, uh, Mihalovic, and Johnson. Those are going to be the three guys that hopefully will get us and um, avoid relegation from the Premier League. Bizarre. Passing at the Waters. Oh, that crossing, though. Maybe it just needed him getting the, to become a right winger for him to get his uh, crossing mojo to work. I'm going to go ahead and just jump to the sim. Okay, let's look at their team here. Because they got the uh, Stragger, I know him, Arslan, Pisetto, Molina, Makengo, Nesturovsky, Marco Silvestri, uh, Master Bucks, he, uh, hit, uh, player in his Leeds United crew mode is, um, Johnson goes ahead, hits the post, unfortunately. They got Hahalo, Wallace, uh, Gonzalez, uh, Pereira, Pereira and De La Feo, former Watford, Watford players alongside Pusetto. Could have been 4 nothing if uh, Johnson had converted his uh, pass. Or uh, his shot, rather. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, nice pass. Come on, Burton. There we go. Barrington Diaz getting his second goal of the game. It is now 4-0 Nottingham Forest. And we are on our way to win this preseason tournament. Okay, let's see if we can make it five. Make sure we stay on side. I'm not sure that... I, I think Waters was off there. Oh, bad intercept there. And Tommy Waters gets his first goal for the club, albeit in a sim, but he opens up his Nottingham Forest account. Okay, let's see what happens here. Hmm. A bit selfish there. I think, I'm not sure who that was, but that was not the play to make. I'm going to go ahead. Ratings don't look too tough. I mean, the wide backs could be doing a little bit better. Um, let's see who has worse fitness. Looks like Centeas has the slightly worse uh Fitness. Lascelles isn't really... His fitness is kind of low. Well, Worlds is too, so... I'm going to go ahead and put... 
Larry other, he can play as a left back, so he does have four star weak foot, so I think I'm just gonna keep him in there. And I think my other substitutions, I think I'm gonna bring Garner at at some point, and I might bring on Mighton. Maybe. Second, uh, Forrest is just happy keeping the ball. Look at this one by Mihalovic. Mm, nobody, where, where was the support at? Mihalovic did a good job running there, but there's literally nobody on the other side giving him support. Come on, guys. You're a team. Oh! Okay. Okay, he's about to score. Johnson, I'm going to take off for... Mighton and Garner, I'm going to take off for... I put on for Longstaff. Brereton Diaz gets the hat trick. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, keep it. Come on, don't do anything stupid, please. Ah, that was not the right pass, but we do keep the ball. Okay. Ah, that's not a good pass by Brereton Diaz. Come on, don't give him that much room. Oh, of course I would lose the clean sheet. Of course. I cannot go through one of these without gi giving up at least one goal. I'm getting tired of that. <sighs> Why can't I ever keep a clean sheet in a sim game? Why? Because I always can see the dumbest goals. Watch, I'm going to give up another one here. I'm just going to go ahead and... because... Can never keep a freaking clean sheet. That's starting to kind of irk me a little bit. And I shouldn't have to perk the bus either, which I refuse to do in order to keep a clean sheet. I shouldn't have to do that. It's absolute garbage I cannot keep a clean sheet. And there we go. We got our first piece of silverware, although uh, it being a preseason tournament. A trophy is a trophy, and it's something that this team can build on, hopefully carry this momentum into the Premier League. You see Lascelles is going to be lifting the trophy. The former Newcastle captain is now the captain of Nottingham Forest in this career mode. And he lifts the first trophy of this Nottingham Forest career mode. Of course, they're uh, posing in front of the cameras with their trophy. But yeah, I, I feel like this may potentially be a very special career mode. I'm so excited to be starting this Nottingham Forest career mode. I did do a career mode off-camera with Nottingham Forest, and that one was pretty cool. And I'm hoping that this leads to bigger and better things for this team. But um, you can see they're posing for the, the team picture here. I'm still kind of pissed I wasn't able to keep a clean sheet, but 
take a look at some of the stats here. Bertrand Diaz is the man of the match. Waters with the three assists, though. Pereira assisting on the goal by Gonsalves. Over 60% possession, which is awesome. And of course, there's always that one stat that we can't do better than the other team. Excuse me, the other team. Sorry about that. As you can see visual confirmation. Nottingham Forest is the winner of the European and National Tournament. You can see the board is very happy with our performance. But yeah, starting the next uh, uh, episode, we will be tackling the Premier League season. And I'm just going to go ahead to the calendar. I'm probably going to do the month of August and the month of September. Because I just want to get this career mode going at a rather reasonable pace. So we will be doing those for which... There's also going to be a Carabao Cup game, which I'm not really, I don't care about the Carabao Cup, so we get knocked out of that. I don't really care about that, but yeah, we will be starting the Premier League next season, uh, next episode, rather. And, uh, hopefully we can avoid relegation, and I can't wait to see what this team does in the Premier League. Hopefully they do well, but, um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, and I'll be seeing you guys again next time.